And new at 630, if you travel through Macon to get to Roberts Air Force Base or to work, you might want to listen up. The Georgia Department of Transportation is getting ready to demolish eight bridges, and that could impact your commute. Our morning reporter, Wanya Reese, joins us live from 247. So, Wanya, when will this work start? Good Wednesday morning, Caitlin. That's a great question. They actually started work this week. The plan, they want to replace eight bridges and install those eight new bridges that they say are more than 50 years old. And while they're installing those bridges, you definitely want to add some more time to your morning or evening commute. Uh, it's been here for a minute. We've been here like about 14 years. At White's Auto off of Hawkinsville Road. My dad, he's been doing like over 40 years. I've been about five years myself. You'll find my Terry and Bibbs and his dad working on car engines and transmissions. And body work, uh, brakes, AC, you name it, we do it. Bibbs says when working on cars in the shop. It's really heavy, heavy. There's no such thing as a light traffic day on the road. We have a lot of bridges, in fact, throughout the entire state of Georgia that were built 50, 60, 70 years ago. Penny Brooks with the State Department of Transportation says some bridges in central Georgia are simply not up to standards. State Route 247, we've got bridges that are currently over Rocky Creek and several overflows. Brooks says eight bridges will be replaced between Hawkinsville Road and Houston Avenue in southern Bibb County. Right now we have one lane closed and the northbound lanes. Uh, we're doing prep work in the area. Utilities are coming in doing the work that they need to do before we take down the bridges. Once that work is done around November, all traffic will be shifted onto the northbound lanes. One side will have the construction happening at any one time, and we can get the traffic moving in both directions on either side while the construction is happening on the other side. She says most of the work will happen during the daytime. While crews are getting ready to start working, Bibbs is ready for the new bridges. So I think them doing that, that project helped out a whole lot. Now the work you're going to see this week is going to be in the northbound lanes. It's going to be happening every day from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And Brooks is asking everybody if you see those barricades or construction workers to please slow down. And Caitlin, we have a while until this project is going to be completed. It's not going to be done until through the, sp the spring of 2022. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese 13 WMAZ News. Oh, thank you, Wanye. And Penny Brooks with GDOT says this project will cost $19.5 million.